Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Raft Survival. Today we are going to be going ahead in creative mode. As you can see, I can make unlimited amounts of planks that I want to make. I don't think there's a shark in the water either, is there? Oh my god, there is a shark in the water. Okay, never mind. There is a shark in the water in creative mode, which is surprising. But, that's okay. You might be asking yourself, well, what the heck are we doing in creative mode? When we were in the middle of something in the last place but let me explain to you what we are doing so I wanted to make something like really cool like maybe a ship or you know whatever something I don't know what we're gonna make but we're gonna make something I just, oh my god I could just paint oh I'm like in heaven right now holy cow this is awesome there's no loot but this is awesome I could literally just whatever I want just make it can I just go ahead and make... Nope, I gotta go back and... Uh... This is cool though. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> unlimited nails. Unlimited metal. Unlimited wood. This is the sweet life, man. I wish I had this in the other game. Holy cow. Alright, so... I want to try to make something cool. Maybe like a pirate ship. And then we can do like... A boat. Um, a boat. We're gonna do a boat and we're gonna do a pirate ship. <laughs> yeah, no, we're gonna do a uh, pirate ship and maybe like a little like ma a makeshift island with like its own boat or whatever. Um, so we're gonna continue to just kind of send this out just a little bit here. I don't know how wide our boat should be. I mean, I would assume. Like, maybe, what are we at now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe we'll go to, like, eight. That should be good right there. We'll do eight wide. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so what we're doing, though, is we're just kind of fooling around. And I wanted to actually talk to you guys about, you know, the upcoming updates that we should be seeing very soon. And let me, hold on. Let me turn the music down just a little bit so that... You guys don't keep hearing stuff in the background. Hold up. Let me see how that is. Yeah, that's better. So, what we're going to be doing, though, is we're going to make a ship. And I want to talk to you guys about a few things. So, if you haven't already seen, uh, they posted a new enemy that's coming up uh, called the Pufferfish. And I wanted to give my opinion on what I think the Pufferfish is going to do. And I would love to hear what your guys' opinion is on how it's going to be implemented into the game uh, as well. So feel free to drop any comments down below on what you think that might be. Um, but so what I think this Pufferfish is going to do is they, they mentioned it very specifically too at the end of the statement that the puffer fish is going to protect the new reefs so i think we can expect to see a new uh island or a new zone it probably won't be like an island maybe like a sand barge uh and below that there'll be reefs or maybe you'll be able to just drop anchor anywhere and just swim straight down i just want to see is the shark gonna attack me is he really not gonna attack me I could legit just... Oh, the boat doesn't even move. I could just do whatever. I want to go all the way down. Do I have... No, I don't even have oxygen. I've never been to the bottom of the sea. I wonder if there is a bottom. We're going to go down as far as we can. But um, I think this is what it's going to be. I think there's going to be like areas where there's going to be like sand barge, barges. And you can like legit... I don't... Uh-oh. Is there? Can we go further? I don't even know. I'm going to go back up. Um, and I think... Oh, okay, I can see it now. I'm going to keep going down and just see if we can tell when it actually stops. Uh, but I'm going to go backwards. Um, so what I think is there's going to be like sand barges that will have reefs attached to them. And the puffer fish, like the shark won't be able to get into the sand barge. So you won't have to worry about both the shark and the, sand, and the puffer fish trying to attack you at the same time. But I don't think the pufferfish is actually going to go out of its way to try to attack you. I think what's going to happen is they're going to hide in the reefs. And when you get too close to them, that's when they're going to blow up and like do a lot of damage. I think it's going to be a pretty 
large amount of damage, much more than the shark bite is. Um, oh my god, we still... Okay, I'm going to go back up because it's just pitch black and I can't see anything. Um, so I think it's going to be more damage than what you see from the shark bites. But I do think that we can expect... Um, you know, maybe a lot of like scrap metal. I can see them doing a lot of scrap metal. I can see them doing a lot of, uh, you know, different things like that. We'll be able to swim a little bit faster now. Um, and I think it'd be really cool because even when they add the reef, that's going to open up a whole new like area of stuff that they're going to be able to work with. Like they can make it where you can like take the coral I don't know if they'll do that because this game's very uh, pro, healthy sea, whatever you want to call it, go earth. Uh, so I don't know if they'll let you take the coral uh, because that's a problem in you know today's world is coral jewelry and things like that. But I think that that could be a potential thing that we could see. Uh, where is Morea? Oh, we got two birds out there. Um, but I think that's kind of going to be what it's, you know, it's going to add some new resources, it's going to add a new island that we'll be able to go to, and then, uh, you know, from there we can expect to sort of see additional, uh, you know, items added to the game as well, uh, which would just be really, really cool to finally have. How's that look? Is that good, or should I go one more wide? So that I can make this go to a... I think we'll go one more wide just so we can make this go to a single point instead. Uh, okay, I just totally lost myself here. Hold on. Did I just mess this up? What did I just do? Like, it's even from there. What? Okay, hold on. I messed something up here. I need to add one more row. I know that much. I love the fact that they added that you could just click and drag now. Click and drag the entire way up. And I think I want... It needs to end here. So let's just... Holy cow, that gets, breaks quickly. That's nice and convenient. Uh, and then we'll get rid of one of those and one of those. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Alright, and so... I can expect that being a thing, though, where, you know, you can see additional content... Um, one thing I would absolutely love to see added to the game, and I, I would love to hear your guys' opinion. If you didn't notice, they did do a survey uh, where it asked you just a few basic questions. It took like four or five minutes to complete, not even. Uh, but it was just a few basic questions on what you want to see in the next Raft Survival update. Uh, or what you know you want to see in the future survival updates, and you know I gave my opinion of what I would like to see, um, but I would also love to hear some of your guys' opinions as well. Uh, so feel free to drop a comment down below on one thing you would absolutely love to see added to this game. So can I? Uh, can I not? Oh, do I need to put a thing there in order to make this work? I think I do. That's going to look horrible, though, if I do. Help me here. What am I doing wrong? What am I supposed to... Nope. God damn it. Hold on. Bear with me just a second, guys. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong here. I want to make these connect. Why can't I make them connect? Like I need a, uh, I need something to fill in that gap there. I think I need to put a floor though in order to make it work. Like if I do that, then I should be able to add something here. No? What about that inverted one? I think one of these might work. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh, I don't need to put a thing there. Perfect. Okay. Okay, but I do need to add that first. So let me go ahead and get rid of these real fast. There we go. 
This is gonna be sick! If I can make it work. I honestly don't know if I'll be able to make it work, though, but we'll see. Alright. Yeah, that looks so cool. Look at that. <laughs> Yo! What, 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 what? Alright, so anyways, though. So, you know, we're, we're working on our ship here, and I apologize if I keep getting a little bit sidetracked. I am going to do my absolute best to stay on topic, but it's going to be very difficult because I'm getting very excited with this. Um, but yeah, so one thing, you know, is the puffer fish that they're going to be adding. Uh, another thing which should be, I would expect to see hopefully in the next update or two. Um, and I just messed this up, didn't I? There we go. Uh, oh, why is it getting dark? I don't like that. Hold on. Let me make a bed real fast. Not a permanent bed, just one that we could sleep in, you know, from time. What is... I've never found any of these. Why is that? A candle bottle? Not a very bright light, but a pretty one. Dude, it's not even a freaking light at all. What are you talking about, game? You're kidding me, right? That's not a candle. You know... No, 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 no. I'm sorry if I'm getting super distracted. I truly am. Let me just craft up some lanterns real quick. Holy cow, that's dope. Uh, we'll put one there. Put one there. We'll put one... How many did I go? Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <clears throat> one, two, three. Perfect. Um, so, sorry. As I was saying. Uh, but one of the things I would love to see added do they have upside down ver oh they need to add upside down versions how am i supposed to fill this gap in that's not cool all right let me finish with the fun of the boat real fast and then we'll go back to the side so okay i'm sorry as i was saying though the next thing that we saw that they plan on adding as well is going to be the new hawk um and some of the stuff that they you know were had some discrepancies regarding was how the hawk is going to work, is it going to be OP'd, uh, you know, it's going to be just right, you know, what, what's the deal with the hawk? So, I think the, the hawk's going to be just a land creature. So, it's not going to be like the seagull where it follows you everywhere you go, but it's going to be that creature that will stop you from just being able to go onto an island and just, you know, do whatever the heck you want. It's going to stop that, which I think is a good thing that they need to do. Because, truthfully, I mean, when you get up out onto, like, the, the island itself, there's really nothing that bothers you. I mean, you just go up there and you just, you know, take what you want and goodbye. When you're done, you leave. You know, the shark don't bother you. The seagull doesn't bother you because it doesn't do anything when it's on land. So, I think this is going to be a great addition to have, and it'll really, oh my goodness. Don't drown on me now, come on. Look at this water, dude. Are we sinking? I need to figure out what I'm going to do about there. I'm not sure yet, but we'll figure it out. I think our boat is so big, we're, we're slowly, like, sinking. Uh-oh. Probably should have left a way for me to get back on the ship in case I ever fell off. There we go, that works. I'll leave that open for now. Just so we can get back up if we need to. Um, so yeah, so one of the things though, when they add the new, like, Seahawk, I think it's going to do a lot in, as far as the, um, ability to, you know, kind of stop people from just you know, thinking the game is so easy, because uh, right now, I mean, in my personal opinion, I think the game is too easy, and that's why I don't play more of it, is because, you know, we go, yeah, it's a lot of fun, we get everything that we need, and then pretty much we're done after that, and then it's like the same thing over and over, which is why we're doing creative mode right now, because, you know, I'm tired of just going to the same old islands, killing the shark, getting some metal, you know, whatever. Yeah, we're upgrading our ship, but there's no challenge to it, you know. It's very, very just simple. 
So I'm really hoping that with this new update that it will add what we've been looking for, you know, that final piece to the puzzle that we've been looking for. Uh, and I really think that it is going to do that. So I just want to see something real quick. How is this going to, is this higher than that? Or is that the same height? It looks like the same height to me, right? Beautiful. Oh my god, we're going to need so many pillars. So many pillars. Holy cow, this is going to be crazy. Alright, so we can go ahead and put walls though. One thing I would love to see added to the game is underwater caves. Um, with like buried treasure, you know. Kind of like, um, what's the game I'm trying to think of? Where like you go through the underwater cave and then there ends up being like a little air pocket. Um, which leads to like a uh, underground cave that's under the ocean. Um, something like that though, you know, something where, you know, it's not just that same old, like, you know, you know what I mean. I don't have to try to explain it. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but I think that would definitely make a huge addition to this game if they had something like that. It's actually going to give you something to do. So that's going to be, you know, just amazing. I can't wait. Um... Why can't I go out one more? I thought you can go out two, no? Wow, this is going to be tougher than I thought. Uh, let's go ahead and get a ladder so we can get up there and take care of this uh, on the flippity top side here. Let's, uh, I guess we can go up. Why is there a wall here? Okay, whatever. I'll go with it. Do I need to put a ceiling there in order to put another ladder there? I do. Okay. That's fine. I can deal with that. So, right now we're just capping off the edges of the boat. Love this click to hold, makes life so much freaking easier. It's ridiculous. Alright, so that is done and good. Now we need to go down below and put some pillars in that will allow us to do the finalizing of all the connections. Uh, so let's see here. We're going to need a pillar here. Uh, we could actually want one more over, couldn't we? Have? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that and we'll put a pillar here. So that will allow us to connect there. So every two... We'll put a pillar up. Um, so, like, I think that would definitely be the best addition that they could possibly add to the game. Uh, would be more enemies and more places to explore. Uh, and possibly even a better multiplayer, you know, maybe like quests, like missions that you need to complete would be kind of cool. Something, you know, to give you something to do. In between playing the game because right now once you you know get to the end it's kind of like you know once you find that last even not even just finding that last island because really once you find that last island there's still nothing there nothing to do or anything you know so it's just you know it's not it's not a fully full game and I know it's in early access and I understand that uh, and I think once it's out of early access that's you know it is going to become huge and I think uh, if they can actually add this game to mobile, that would be huge. I think it's a little complex for mobile right now, though, with everything that it does. But I think if they can find a way to add that in there uh, at some point, that would really, like, boost their sales on the game. Because I've tried different ones. Like, when I was waiting for this game to come out, I was trying out different, like, online or not online, I'm sorry, uh, Play Store versions of the game, and there was really, like, nothing that came even close to this. So, um, anything, if they can release something for computer, that would be, or not computer, I'm sorry, uh, like an iOS and Android devices <clears throat> version of this, that would be super sick. Guys, this is looking ridiculous. 
There's going to be so many pillars underneath. No boat has this many pillars underneath it. It has a frame and that is it. I hope this is going to work. I guess we'll find out though. Let's head on up and see what happens. So, we'll just go back and forth. I'm not going to try to rush it around the other way. Whew. It's coming along, guys. It's coming along. I'll find out what I'm going to do with that corner towards the end portion of this. Because um, I'm not really sure what how we can fit something in there, but I'm sure we'll be able to do something with it But uh So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the puffer fish and the reef I, I would love to hear you know your guys opinion on it and then definitely let me know what you think of you know, a potentially new uh, idea for the game, you know, something to make it better, the appealing part of the game, you know, what will make the game, you know, feel more realistic, like you're actually surviving, you know, on the sea, uh, you know, what, what you can do when you're out there instead of just the same old thing, you know, collecting resources, which will always be what the game is about, and I think it does definitely make the game what it is today. But I feel like there's more, you know, there's so much potential for this game and there's so much more that they can do for the game and they'll get there. You know, it's it's there. It's it's open and it's the only game out there for computer currently. Uh, so I definitely think that gives them a huge advantage uh, as far as like what their potential is, you know, because there's nobody else out there making any games like this. So we'll see. We will see what happens. Uh, we're going to finish this off, though. We're going to cap off the roof here. Um, let me just see how this is going to fill out real quick. I could really make this, like, multiple stories, too, which is super dope. Hmm. I mean, really, this is going to need one next to each in order for it to reach to each corner. And then same thing with this one. is going to need one there. One there. One there so that they can reach to the corners properly. One there. One there. All right, let's see how that fills it in real fast, and then we'll finish it up from there. This is really looking pretty damn good. In my opinion, I mean, I don't know what you guys think of it, but uh, I'll, I'm sure I'll hear about it in the comment section below. All right, so we need to determine where we're going to put the last of these. Um, we can go from there, which is where that hits, and we can go one over and out. Same thing over here, where that hits. One over and then out. It's going to be a little more filled in at the end here, but I think it'll be okay. I think that might, oh no, I think I need one right in here somewhere. Let's go ahead on up top. Let's finish this up and then we'll see where we need to put this last one at. Um, but yeah, I, I would never really play creative mode on games just because I kind of like that more like you know have to make it happen sort of yourself kind of ordeal oh it was enough look at that good thing I didn't put any more yo look at us we got a boat we got a boat oh I wonder if I could put a ladder oh I bet you I could put it down the back side oh I hope I could put it down the back side oh I can't all right so here's what we can do though we can go ahead and just extend this out one. And this will kind of be like. I 
I mean, it doesn't really matter with the reinforcing part because the shark doesn't seem to be attacking. But just in case, you never know. Can we put walls? Oh, let's put a ladder first. Why can't I put ladders up against the outside? I never understood that, but whatever. We'll put it at an angle, though. Sort of like that. And that will allow us... No, that won't allow us. What the heck, man? What the fooj? Alright, let's do this then. We'll put a roof. Right there. And then we'll put a ladder. Does that make you happy? <gasps> no. That doesn't make you happy. What does make you happy is having stairs. I knew it. I knew it wanted something more than just the basics. It wanted stairs. So we'll go boom. And then we'll put a... Uh, boom, boom, and then one more boom. Look at that. And then we'll go, uh, nope, 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 nope. Boom, boom. There we go. Now we have our stairs going up the ladder. And, and, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we? No, it won't let us. Damn. I'm not sure how we're going to manage to fill this gap in here. I don't know if there's really anything that we can do. Yeah, see, I mean, I can't put any walls here. The only thing I really could do is extend that out. And then I can kind of like, you know, rig it. But, you know, for right now, I think I might just leave it. Because what I would like to be able to do is put like these, but upside down sort of, so that it kind of fills in the hole going upward. But we'll leave her for right now. Uh, what I do want to do though is just kind of put a thing right there, and then maybe one at the top, and then one at the other corner here, so people can see our beautiful boat. You know, I don't want it to just be like, oh look, a boat. I want them to be like, look at that. Oh, whoa, what? You could put torches on walls? Bro, since when? Learn something new every day. That looks so much better having it on the wall like that. Where did I just put that up there? I mean, if that's the case, hell, I might as well go like every other one here. Uh, nope, that actually ain't going to look as good as I thought because it's going to end up putting one underneath there and then it's going to look like it's on fire. We'll leave it at that. It's really just so we had light to get back up. <clears throat> um, but what I will do for now, just so we can kind of see where our boat starts and stops, <clears throat> our pirate ship, I'm sorry, not our boat. It's a pirate ship. Get it right. Look at this. Look at this. And I think there's uh, there's like rope. Yeah, look at this. Yo, we're going to have rope going all the way around to, like, like this. And it's going to look so freaking dope, dude. Oh, my God. Okay, we'll just, we'll do, oh, oh, hold on. I got too excited there for a second. There we go. Uh, we'll just do this real fast. Dude! Oh, my God. It's, it's really cool looking. I'm happy with the way this came out and we're not even done I do want to add a lot more to it um, and let's see can we get like a let's craft up hold on we're gonna we're ending the episode just so you guys know but I'm just doing it in a very weird fashion um, Yo, look at our ship with the shark head at the end of it. Looks pretty dope. That's our, I forget what they call, what do they call that thing? I forget what they call that part of the ship where it has like the, the thing on it. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's pretty close enough. 
For not, I mean, I could have made, like, ramps out and done it, you know, more legit-like, but that's pretty dope if you ask me. So, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up, though, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think of this. If you like the whole creative side, um, I definitely want to do a lot more with this. You know, I want to make, like, a big old cell. I want to paint it and everything. Uh, make it look very cool, you know. And maybe even, like, you know, make it into, like, a replica of another type of cruise ship, you know, in, in the real world. We definitely could have gone a lot bigger. Uh, but I want to, like, branch off. Maybe put, like, a dock with, like, a little lighthouse or something would be kind of cool. Let me know what you guys think, though, in the comments section. Uh, but until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like button. Drop a comment down below of what you want to see in the next episode. Um, or if you want to continue to see more of this, let me know. Otherwise, until next time, I will see ya.